Let me ask you about a scene that uh, I, I watched it several times because I just can't believe how powerful it is from the point of view of the way the camera was used and the way the lighting evolves in the scene. And it's particularly surprising because she's in a phone booth. She has gone back to her high school and uh, behind the phone booth, which is between the bleachers, uh, the football team is uh, playing. And in the middle of the scene, they stop playing, they turn the lights out, and the camera cranes down and moves into her. And it's, it's got several parts to it, but in, it's a long scene sequence. The lighting is very different. It's, it's very expressionistic in one way, and yet very beautiful and modeled. It was very impressionistic, showing basically that she's in trouble. She's taking drugs. All the lights from her life. It's going out. And Beth did a hell of a job, you know, as an actress. And we were crying when we shot that scene, you know, that's amazing how. It becomes almost spiritual. There is a light from behind. It's kind of a back cross light on her that's very intense. It wasn't there in the first part of the scene. So you change the lighting and it moved in very close and it's like, assumed a different kind of feeling, a different kind of reality. And it's very interesting, especially because it's when she finally decides to take the, the fixings and shoot up. C could you talk about that a little bit? At one point, um, we almost considered that, uh, that that would be the last shot of the movie. And, uh, and whatever we saw, the, the last concert, it, it didn't really happen because she didn't even make it there. I decided it should have a dreamy quality. She already has done, you know, the drug, and it's, it's affecting her. This is the last shot of the movie, the way we see her. Honestly, we don't even know sometimes, you know, what we are doing. And then, you know, by putting a backlight or putting a nice light on somebody, it's obviously, I wanted to make her look as very beautiful as possible for the last frame of the movie. It didn't match maybe the earlier shot, which was more like a documentary kind of, and this was like, uh, I mean, imagination. It's somebody's last thoughts before she died. 